Uh, went pretty good. Hiked up to uh, top of Mount Elbert, no problem. Um, drank lots of water, kept hydrated. <sighs> Muscles felt good. It was it was great to get back out there and you know uh, just kind of crush one. This has not been a good day. <laughs> Why don't you take those sunglasses off? Start telling the truth. It's taking us to the upper trailhead, four-wheel drive road, is what they say. We are, every bit of distance we go up this road is less distance we would have had to walk. So it's two miles in total, or a little less than two miles from the lower trailhead to the upper trailhead. And I am, I for one am happy to be driving it instead of walking it. We've gone like, what, a quarter mile and we're already smoked out of our jackets. Jackets. It is not that cold. 50 degrees. <laughs> working hard hardly working so yeah there's that okay. putting our coats on it's getting a little cold a little windy yeah. windy per se you can see the moon over there we got Leadville over there and these little reflectix guys are all the way down the trail, so that's kind of nice if you're hiking at night. Update. Let me shine it on my face. I've made it this far for my banana reward. <laughs> we are about 1,500 feet from the top. Yeah, so we're at probably about 13,000 feet high. Every step gets harder even though it shouldn't. Oh, I mean, that was brutal. Yeah. Just that last incline that we just did, it's kind of level, it's like a steady incline now. It's probably about to go back up, but yeah. uh, that was brutal. Yeah. I counted to 50. I did 50 steps and every 50 steps I stopped. This last one I did 100 steps. <laughs> Progress. It's like little baby goals. <laughs> Sunrise is beginning to kind of peek through. Well, this is definitely a, a new low for Micah's hiking. I've given up the bag. and I'm hiking without it. I am cramping pretty bad in my quads. We're about 700 feet from the top and both quads are cramping like crazy. So giving it up, Shelby's gonna take it the rest of the way. I mean, most of the water is gone, but this is all for her. All the breakfast on top, come on. Pretty hipster. This 
This has not been a good day. <laughs> I start cramping on the front side of my legs on the quads. So I drink some water, start cramping on the back side of my legs. I start cramping on both sides. So I just drank 24 ounces and uh, now because I'm not moving, I'm so cold and we are 300 feet from the top. So my only question is if I make it up there, how am I going to make it down cramping this much? I'm so chilly. <laughs> uh, this is this is worse than Long's Peak and I'm not sure why. I just It's colder too. <coughs> Remember, we only had our well, raincoats. Yeah. We left later in the day for Long's Peak. Yeah. But this is, I'm just, I just gotta have my legs go 300 more feet up. That's it. <laughs> and then 3.8 miles down. Yeah. But you excel at going down pretty good. I can good. roll downhill. I can't, <laughs> I can't roll uphill very well. I'm not that good. <laughs> oh, man. You, you gave me the pack for the past yeah. thousand feet. It's about time you pulled your weight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the reason why I'm in this situation. Oh, is that I'm it? carrying breakfast up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, breakfast better solve my cramps. Well, babe, I barely made it up. Peak, Mount Albert, highest point in Colorado. Waka. Wasn't sure we were going to make it. I'm so glad we did this when it was dark. Yeah. Coming back, seeing some of the stuff we climbed, I was like, goodness. I can't. Yeah. Whole trail didn't deal with one bug. Um. Anyway, so picked up the pack for like the last thousand feet and that was pretty difficult but because you were Micah was in such bad condition that we went rather slow so it actually it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was gonna be there was one point where I didn't realize I just took the pack and I didn't realize how bad he Micah was and we I had probably gone up like 200 feet and I was like okay I'll give him the pack back and I turn around and you're like hobbling like an old man. And I was like, mm, I'm going to be carrying this to the top. Okay, so <laughs> let's go. And then you told me to stop and gave you some water and stuff. But it was as soon as you got up to kind of the ridge, you have to go left to kind of summit it. But when you got over the ridge, it was just beautiful blue snowy bridger teton kind of stuff and it was real pretty how in the world did we make it down this road i just like oh, watch out for the tree it's are okay. you kidding me it's okay it's okay uh, is it you did not seem like you were paying attention to the tree. I knew where the tree was. I'm very good with my peripherals. 